Running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, I'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? It must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Oh. 
Okay. But if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Grapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Ugh. Bitter? Yeah, well. At least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. Are you gonna jump? Go for a swim? Fastest way down. It's an AI. It's, um... It's hard to explain. Think of it like... a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. Clonox. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. in that machine. Better take a closer look. Someone took down his machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. There's a ladder. But I can't reach it. Did After you. By the goddess. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission. The uh message I found. Didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. 
Uh, some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. <coughs> the blight's infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. Down this way. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. It's I. It's a weak spot. Right. I'm ready. Okay. Concentrate. Another one's Appear coming. Supplies. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter does his prey. Got it. Yeah, kind of. Said you've had a focus so since after you were the a child, right? fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city, and I set out to find you. Welcome to the Far's Unit Launch Facility. Far is this? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them? I should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh, what's that stench? for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. Not through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. 
The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid huh? burned right through his armor. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Machine cable, stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool, or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. There. A uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. Better than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep huh. going. What's this thing for? What's this? A supply crate. I think I can use the pull caster on it. can't reach from here. We'll have to get closer. This <clears throat> didn't turn up. Oh, I might be able to get up there. <clears throat> wow, that worked. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. I think I can turn this thing on. Whoa! Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dahlgaard. Okay, and it is I gotta drop the ladder for Vol. For the stars, even if you have to go, six light years Thanks. of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium where we'll unveil our plan. Humans, Homo sapiens. Us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. A serious system. There, 
who will create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> Playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Doesn't look like we can get across the river here. We'll find a way. Let's keep going. The wilds have really grown over this place. some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. <laughs> Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Closer and stay out of sight.
Mine's down too. More of those machines ahead. Nothing you and I can't handle. been meaning to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. <laughs> The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. Dismantled and it. not blow yourself up. And got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. Oh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osram shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. There. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. <laughs> Over here. Aloy, I think I see a way up. Machine's head. Don't think they spotted us. Clear. Let's keep going then. Big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. 
Hey. Um, this data mentions the tech that Farzina traded with Zero Dawn. It doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Looks like we've got to climb up. This place is really falling apart. Well, it is a thousand years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering. An obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades Protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Prawl. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made. By a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's... More than that, it's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this? Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Borl. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. <laughs> 